In this video, I'm going to show you how you can easily replace the background color of a full body shot photo in Photoshop 2024. Hello photographer, welcome back to my channel. For the ones who doesn't know me, my name is Silvia. I'm a specialist in the magazine style of maternity photography. In this channel, I talk about professional editing techniques to help you make more money with your photos. Now let's get into the video. For us to change the background color is actually pretty, pretty simple. The first thing that we are going to do is select our model. So right now I'm going to click in this option here, the quick selection tool. It could be any tool around here. And you're going to see that Photoshop will give you the option to do the select subject. So I'm going to select my subject. And right now we are going to adjust the selection. I'm going to add the her dress as well, because this is something that I don't want to change when I change the background. And I want to remove this selection here. So you can just press um, option on your keyboard and I'm just removing that part of the selection. So I'm just adjusting a little bit of the selection here and I'm going to get closer. I want this to be selected, but I do not want this part to be selected. Okay, I'm going to change to the lasso and I'm going to press um, option on the keyboard to remove this selection here. And I want to add, oops, and I want to add, I'm going to click here in the second option and I'm just going to add this other selection here. I'm going to try to do, I'm doing something a little bit rough just so we can go a little bit faster here. So I'm just gonna make the selection a little bit better. So now I'm just gonna um, see, there was another thing here as well. I'm gonna remove this part here. Um, it's okay if the selection is not 100% perfect because um, after we change the background color, we can adjust the selection as well. I think this is pretty much good for us to start. So now I'm going to press command J. Now I'm going to rename this layer one and I'm going to do model and in between the layers, I'm going to create another layer that's hue saturation. And right here is where we are going to choose the color of our background. There are two ways that you can do it here. You can just actually change the colors right now and you can put it any color that you want and you can make it a little bit stronger or less saturated. You can also play with the light, how dark and how bright you want the background to be. So let me go back here. Another way that you can do this is by pressing colorize and it's going to give you the same thing. So you can just choose however you want to do this. When you press colorize, it's easier for you to know the color that you are actually selecting because the hue and the triangle here, when you're moving, you are going to exactly the color that it's on the triangle. If you don't press the colorize, you kind of um, need to guess. You can see that my triangle right now is on the green. However, the background is not on the green because I'm adding green to a background that already has a color. So when this happens, if I go back here, you can see that the second light here is moving. So I'm adding some color to the brown background. That's why the color doesn't show up exactly how you're seeing in here. However, the color that it's going to be right in the middle here, you can see that the second light is changing, right? So the color that's going to be right in the middle here is the color that you're going to see on the photo. So for example, if I go to the blue, we can see that it's kind of green, yellowish more towards the green. And you can see that right here is exactly the color that I'm seeing in the photo. Um, so you can choose to just use this option to change the color or you can press colorize. I think it's easier 
for you to actually pay attention better to the color. Or you can just not use the colorize and just drag and see the color that you want. It doesn't really matter. I like to go and colorize. And I'm gonna select a different color. Uh, let's see. Ooh, some red maybe. I think I'm gonna go with red. I'm gonna remove some of the intensity of the red and I'm gonna just make it a little bit darker. Yeah, I think that this looks pretty good. And the cool thing when you use this kind of layer, hue saturation, you can see that it's in a second, you can change the color of the whole background. Um, you can still see that I keep the shadow of the photo. So it's very realistic. I really like this red. I'm just gonna, let me tweak a little bit. I think I like that. I think like this looks good. Um, another thing that you can do that it can also make even better for the background that it has nothing to do necessarily with the color, but it has to do with like some lighting effect for your photo is to create a curved layer. So I'm gonna go here and I am gonna go up with the light. And right here on the mask, I'm going to press Command I because I want to hide this mask. And I'm going to go here to the gradient. I'm going to select radio gradient. So it's like this second icon here that's a circle. And I'm going to go and select. You can go here to basic. And you're going to select this option that goes from the color. Right now it's the color white to the transparent. And what we are going to do is that we are going to show a little bit of the this lighting that I just create, but more in the center of the photo. Like if there was another light behind her and it's only hitting the background. So I'm going to go here and I'm just going to drag a circle like this. Let me close this package and you can adjust however you want. I think that I kind of wanted to adjust. I don't want it to get too much on the ground. I kind of want to only on her, on her back. So I can do something more in here. Okay. And here's the before and here's the after with the lighting. We can play with the opacity as well. So I'm gonna go down with the opacity to zero and now I'm gonna go slightly up and see what I like. I think like this is pretty good, so 50. And, and here's the before and here's the after. A completely different feel and mood to the photo. This one is way more now romantic and way more dramatic as well than this background, this luminosity, so it looks pretty cool. So again, just play around with the colors that you want. If you change the color here, you're going to see that it gives a different feeling to your photo. This one looks a little bit more creative now. And again, you still have the whole um, luminosity of the previous photo, of the original photo, so you can still see the shadows, it looks very good and realistic. Um, one more thing that we didn't do, I think that the blue looks pretty good, but I'm gonna keep the red, yeah. I'm gonna keep this red here. Just to finalize our photo here, let's say that um, the selection was not 100% complete, right? Because as I told you, when we were making the selection that we can make the selection better. However, I did something that's not the best way for you to do it. Um, what I want to do is I created a layer with only the model, but I cannot add more of the photo back. So let's say that if I, if I didn't have her food in the photo, I couldn't bring it back because I deleted the whole um, rest of the photo. So what we want to do is actually go to the background. We are going to duplicate this layer. We are going to bring this layer up. I'm going to write model again. And what we want to do is 
press command or control in your keyboard and click the photo where you have the selection made it before. So this first layer here. And what I'm gonna do is go back to the other model layer that has the whole photo and I'm gonna create a mask. I'm gonna visualize all the background changes that I've done. And right here, going on your mask, you can actually make sure that the selection is good or not. And you can add or remove more of the selection. So for example, I'm gonna go with my brush and I'm gonna have feather hardness to 0% because I want a lot of feather with my brush. And I'm gonna just um, adjust the size of the brush. Oopsie. Okay. Okay. And now I'm gonna just start painting or removing or adding what I want. I'm actually gonna go back here to the hardness and I'm actually going to make it a little bit harder, not 100% of feather. So now I'm just gonna clean here around her toes. I can see that the selection is not perfect. So I'm gonna press X and the colors here will switch it up. And I'm gonna go with a smaller size, get even closer. And I'm just gonna make my selection a little bit better here. And every time that you make a mistake, you can just press X, the colors will change here. And it's just very fast for you to fix and clean this. close to her hair and what we can do um, with her hair is the way that I'm gonna do it right now is to lower the opacity and the flow and I'm gonna go with a little bit bigger size of the brush and I'm gonna raise the hardness to 50 I think and I'm just gonna paint here I'm gonna go back to black. I'm just gonna slightly paint here, little by little, to make a, um, a fading transition between the colors. So, can make even smaller size. So I'm kind of painting her hair a little bit. And, wait, this looks like it is, um, that the photo was taking this background. So that was good. I can see here on her face that the color is not 100% correct. So I'm gonna go up with the opacity and the flow and just fix this areas here. We fixed all the things that needed to be fixed with the selection and this is the before and this is the after before and after click the like button if you like the results now you know how you can easily change the background color of a full body shot and also add some cool lighting effect to your photo if you want to know other ways to improve your skills to make more money with photos check out my latest video here on the screen also, subscribe to my channel. I post new videos every week. For now, this is everything. I hope this video was really helpful for you. Until next time.